private trade gigs, uh, many from MT Alpha, uh, based out of FOB Asian in Afghanistan. So talk me through how you found out about this AMP casualty today. Yep, the AMP casualty was um, put up through their chain of command and went through to the AMP um, interpreter here at FOB Asian. Um, he came down and informed us of this will be casualty coming in. And so what's your initial reaction when you find out that there's a casualty coming into the uh, medical centre here? So uh, every reaction is the same. We um, activate the race house team and one of the medics or the CFAs will go down the front gate and pick up the casualty and bring them back down here and then we'll assess the casualty and go from there. And so the AMP casualty, how did he come into the base and, and what did he do when he arrived? What did you do when he arrived here? The casualty was dropped off at the front gate by one of his um, drivers. We went down there, picked him up and brought him back here. Um, upon arrival back at the race house, we noticed he had a gunshot wound. Um, so different protocols came into place and we started treating the bleeding. And so uh, who was here in the recess bay um, conducting that triage and assessing the patient and providing treatment? So we have one Australian medic here, uh, we have myself and an uh, American medic. Um, from there we usually just designate uh, depending on who's around to do different responsibilities. So when the bird takes off from TK, we get a call to Hadrian. Uh, it gives us about seven minutes notice. From there, we package the patient up and take them outside. One person will throw the smoke so the helicopter can determine the wind direction. Another person is on the radio to call them in. And from there, we hand over to the AME medics who um, take them back to TK. Do you have a question? Do you want to ask a question or just go? Do you, whatever you need. Okay, cool. Um, so from the front gate, we picked up the cash and brought them back down here. Uh, with the two medics that were here being the Australian and the US medic. Uh, we designated roles to um, one for observation, one for cutting off the clothes and um, one for checking down the wounds. Um, so it's really just organising who's going to do and what in the resource bay. And what other people are in the resource bay? What other roles are there? Uh, it's usually just the CFAs. Um, if we don't have any, we'll just get anybody that we have on hand. Um, they will um, cut the clothes off as the medics to do the treating. We'll also have a CD here who gives the nine are ready to go, take it down to the CP, and um, from there we send off the nine. So in terms of the treatment and the teamwork today, how did that work? Uh, today went very well. Uh, it was a very smooth race, I suppose. Um, everyone knew what was going on. Uh, we decided to um, cannulate the casualty, give them some pain relief, perform packing the wound. Um, upon packing the wound, we realised it hadn't worked again. So we restarted it, packed it again, and covered it up. Um, and just like just get the sleeping down because they had lots of water before getting in. And so you made the decision to call for him to be evacuated to Chan Just talk me through that process. Yep. Putting in the 9 liner and getting the equipment and that sort of thing. Sure. Um, with the casualty, because it was a um, coalition partner um, patrol, what we ended up doing is assessing the casualty as a bribery because his life wasn't in serious, um, wasn't an immediate threat, it was in serious jeopardy, so that fits the gun prioritisation for a cap rubber. Um, what we do is we get all the, all the required information, take that through to um, the CP, we pass that on to CTU who determine whether to send out an AMA or not.